for 20 paisa or something like that. I mean, it was, these were really nightmares. I still remember even now that how I used to feel, what if I don't get admission in any college? What if I, this doesn't happen? What if that doesn't happen? I, so I know what you guys go through. But I'll tell you, now if I were to give you advice, and if you are having those nightmares, I'll tell you what Amir Khan said, all is well. All is well. All is well. Tell yourself because I'll tell you, even though, I mean, by the time I passed 12th grade, I was, you know, I, my rank in Delhi, I, I went to CBSE school in Delhi. When I was in 10th grade, my rank was 22nd rank in Delhi, in, among all the Delhi schools in uh, CBSE. In 12th grade, in my, on those days, those times were different. I'm talking about 1984. Perhaps we were not even born, right? I, I'm sure nobody was born at that time. It's more than 30 years ago, almost 35, 40 years ago. That time, in 12th grade, all that fear, nightmares I had, one good thing it did was it really made me study harder. It really made me work extra. And I had 18th rank by the time I came out of 12th grade in Delhi. In Delhi. Now, now, 18th rank in Delhi, I had, those days we used to have some colleges, Delhi, very few engineering colleges in every state. Of course, number of students were also less as compared to now. And I got admission in, I, through PCM, they used to call it physics, chemistry, mathematics. So I had 95% physics, chemistry, mathematics. And, and in that PCM, I was perhaps number five or six in Delhi. And I had admission in, I didn't prepare much for IIT like you guys have all the, you know, wonderful teachers around you, very nice, funny teachers like Sauravji, <laughs> right? <laughs> Who can also keep you in good humor, right? Besides making you work harder. But I did get admission without much preparation. I had some 1200 or so rank. So I was getting admission in Khadakpur in those days. IIT Kharagpur. But you know, my family, I mean, you know, the, I already told you the family background, very lower middle class family background. So my father felt, you know, I mean, it would be extra, cha extra expense of sending the student or sending the child to out of Delhi. When you're getting in Delhi, admission in good branch. In IIT Kharagpur, I would have gotten metallurgy or one of those aerospace. I think I was getting aerospace in IIT Kharagpur in those days. So I decided to stay in DC. I didn't go to IIT, stayed in DC. Now I'll tell you in my office, I may at least have 50 to 60 people who are from IIT working for me. And I'm not saying this to boast that, okay, I'm very good and all. What I'm saying is IIT or DC or some other engineering college, all these are not end of the world. You know the richest man in the world, right? Or you see top two or three richest people in the world, they're all college dropouts. Do you know that? Mark Zuckerberg is dropout. Elon Musk is dropout. I mean, you count those people. Most of them are dropout. I'm not talking about Sundar Pichai. And Sundar Pichai didn't go to any of those colleges. He went to Manipal, right? And he's CEO of Microsoft now. What is it? What is it? Yeah? Okay. So I think if you look at all this, it tells you that studies are though important, but not achieving, not finding the goal that you are aiming for is not end of the world. But what you are gaining now here at KCC and at Kana Shanti Vannam, these valuable lessons these valuable skills will stay with you whether you get it to IIT or DTU or some other college or even medical college that you're aiming for because these will carry you for the rest of your life to whatever you do. And that's what you should really be appreciative of. That's what you should 
really hope for, aim for, wish for, pray for. That I should be, become a good human being. I should become a hardworking, sincere. You know, some of my best employees even now. I have, in my company, I have 2,000 employees. And some of the best employees are the guys who work hard, who work sincerely, who work consistently good. And those qualities you get at this age. Masti sabko achhi lagti hai. I have also bunked classes in college, watched a lot of movies, first day, first show. Wo sab theek hai. Dekho, masti ka bhi apna time hai. There is time for those things. But, when you have to work hard, you should work hard. Whatever you do, wo bolte na, even if you become a thief, Become a good thief. <laughs> right? I mean, whatever you become in life, be good at it. And that is the mantra I'll give you today. And I think that's very, very important. And these values, you will not learn later. You will learn at this age. So, do listen to your teachers. Though at times they may be boring, they may be telling the same thing again and again. It's okay. That's their problem. But, you can get some really good skills, good qualities, good inspiration from those guys at this age, and it will stay with you for the rest of your life. So that's the thing what I thought I'll share with you from my life. Of course, we thought I would love to answer some questions from you or from some of our wise brothers and sisters here. And uh, I, I would love to see if I can, you guys all may have questions. I mean, I can if I have to talk, I can talk a lot about what happened afterwards and how I started meditation and this and that. But I thought I'll leave all those to the questions that may have come from you, some of you or others, so that you get to hear what you want to hear. Is that good? Okay. sir. Hello. Hello. Please, sir. So now, uh, I got a chance to talk with him and at the same time you also, right? First question I'll ask, brother will answer. And from that answer, if you will have any more questions, you all can. We have a two mic in audience. And you are privileged that you have a direct interaction with Sanjay Bhaiya and you can ask any time. Because as he told that his company is having more than 2,000 employees, I have already shared California, Sydney, Bangalore, Kolkata, Pune, Delhi. He already running offices. And he was IIT selected. So he was not, you can say, now we can say that he was not mature, he didn't go to IIT. And he went to Delhi College of Engineering. But he told me that he was very good. After going to Delhi College of Engineering, ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में 50 आईआईटीएम्स हैं। तो यानी कि इम्पोर्टेंट क्या है? वो आपको इनसे समझना पड़ेगा। और मुझे लगता है शायद आप सभी के पास कुछ ऐसे ड्रीम्स होंगे ना इस तरह की लाइफस्टाइल के हैं। आपके पास ऐसे कुछ ड्रीम्स हैं कि हाँ हमारे भी कुछ ऑफिसेज हों, हम भी कुछ बड़े से बने, हमारे अब पता है आप लोग सोच रहे हो ऐसा कहना चाहिए या नहीं संजय भी मैं आपसे ही पूछता हूँ ये सब होना चाहिए या नहीं होना चाहिए लाइफ में क्यों नहीं होना चाहिए जरूर होना चाहिए हेलो हाँ आप चाहिए या नहीं चाहिए सब चलो तो हम यहीं से स्टार्ट करते हैं तो संजय भी आप फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आपने बहुत कुछ पूछ लेंगे इनसे कि संजय भैया ये भी बता दो कुछ फालतू चीजें भी की हैं जिंदगी में या बस या सिर्फ पढ़ाई पढ़ाई की है तो भैया कुछ क्योंकि हमारे बच्चे तो बहुत you got the answer मैं कह रहा हूँ आपने जैसे आपकी सिंसियरिटी का लेवल बताया कि आप इतने सिंसियर रहे पढ़ाई भी करी रैंक भी आया तो सबसे पह कि आपको पढ़ने में बोर नहीं मारता था क्या? 
देखो सबको लगता है ना जो बच्चा क्लास में फर्स्ट आए या सेकंड आए या थर्ड ऐसा कुछ होता है कि उसको पढ़ाई बड़ी अच्छी लगती है वो खाली वही बात नहीं बेचारा डरा रहता है इसलिए पढ़ता है वो <laughs> आधे से ज्यादा टाइम यही मैं आपको बता रहा था मुझे वो जो नाइट मेयर्स आते थे द नाइट मेयर्स आई यूज टू गेट दैट ड्रोव मी टूवर्ड स्टडीज मोर देन एनी एल्स बट आई टेल यू आई मीन आई आई शेयर ऑलरेडी विद यू दैट आई वॉज वन ऑफ दोज गाइज वॉच The darker side you want to know every Hindi movie first day first show. अच्छा आप ऐसा कॉलेज में करते थे या इलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ में करते थे दोनों टाइम पे देखो जैसे आप आप बोलते हैं ना यहाँ फ्राइडे का ये है तो फ्राइडे को नहीं करना हमारा सैटरडे को टेस्ट नहीं होता था अच्छा हमारा टेस्ट मंडे को होता था तो फ्राइडे को हम चले जाते थे मूवी सो नाइस एनी वन आउट ऑफ यू एनी थिंग यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क कोई क्वेश्चन प्लीज रेज योर हैंड सो दैट आर पीपल कैन कम टू यू विद माइक एनीबडी एनी क्वेश्चन चलिए मैं पूछू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके संजय बिया वेन यू वर इन कॉलेज सो यू आर हैविंग सम ड्रीम और विजन कि मुझे यहां पहुंचना है या जिंदगी जैसे जैसे आगे लेती गई वैसे वैसे आप आगे चले गए I am my question is I am asking from them Sanjay Bia that do you were you having really some dream or vision for it or like it was whatever was happening it was happening and I was doing and doing and I did here this is what my question is from him Sanjay Bia see I, I'll tell you I always used to have dreams in those days we didn't have this knowledge of companies and all today you know in the world today there are a lot of startups. and you have lot of information available through internet i am talking about pre internet era yes where everything would come to you only when your uncle aunt or someone comes from america or somewhere they come and tell you then only you will know yes. or you will know through some newspaper and all that right but i always wanted to do more than what i got sometimes i used to feel there is something wrong with me that why i am not happy some people say no you should be happy in what you get i was not one of those guys okay when i was in college i mean of course i when I, mean, i did decent in college those you know i was not top one or two in college when i came out but i was like they say used to say distinction with distinction i had you know good marks in all above 70% uh, above 75% all the subjects and all that and i got a decent very good job in delhi itself i had two three offers i got a good job but then i used to think ye to mil gaya agla kya yes so i used to apply to companies who were doing business in us now the company i was working with they found out that i am applying so they thought they didn't want to lose me they sent me to us okay right that's how i went to us and i always had i'll tell you i i i already shared that you know i kind of i grew up in a very lower middle class family in delhi in older part of delhi and we used to have just two rooms where five of us used to stay and i always felt like you know as a child you have dreams that i have a big house i have a lot of cars outside you know and i'll tell you now i have i mean the size of the house that i had had in delhi that i grew up in is perhaps the same as size of my closet in atlanta where i keep my clothes <laughs> so i feel i really want to sincerely share with all of you there is nothing wrong in having dreams some people say hey spirituality mein heartfulness mein saaj marg mein these guys are dead ye dream daji khud bolte hain if you don't want to earn money the bad people will earn money if good people don't go for good positions good roles politics or even you know other good things in life then bad people will get into it so you should never be shy in admitting or having dreams and making effort to achieving those dreams kali dream deke kaam nahi banega i dream for million of million dollars but if i don't want to work towards it that is not going to happen but unless you dream how will you achieve that how will you say this is my goal now you are playing at 20 runs in an over everybody likes cricket here yeah? all right guys so let's say you are rinku singh aajkal ka naya hai na rinku singh or sky sky 
सूर्य कुमार यादव यू आर देयर एंड यू कम टू द क्रीज एंड यू हिट ट्वेंटी नाउ यू थिंक यार एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी तो होना चाहिए फिफ्टी तो आई शुड स्कोर नाउ यू थिंक इन योर माइंड यू आस यू नो इफ यू आस दिस गाइज ऑल ऑफ यू नो रोहित शर्मा हैड कम हियर कपल ऑफ टाइम्स राइट सो आई आई डिड आस्क हिम दिस यू नो एंड यू कम देयर व्हाट डू वट डू यू थिंक Right? See what what he is sharing. What he asked from Rohit Sharma personally. See what are you thinking? What are you? I mean, you come to the crease. What are you thinking? Am I going to score century every time? He said no. I don't think about century. I think about the next big goal. I should cross twenty five. Yes. Now when I come to ten or twenty fifteen, I think I should cross fifty. Now as I get forty, saw to ho jayega. Right? Aaj saw to karna hai. So you guys should think like this. Sitting here. thinking that i'll become steve jobs that's not good you should at least think about the next goal that is achievable for you then as you get closer to this not that after having achieved it as you get closer to that goal now you know you can come this far go further then go further then guys sky is the limit the cricket sky or the other sky your your wish <laughs> so if we conclude his answer in this he is saying never get settled down with some low yes that is what he want to say and i believe our all students are not at all going to settle with anything lower than je or neat isn't it that is the reason that you all here because i think you already kept That mindset कि नहीं हमें बड़ा करना है we have to think big that is the reason you these all people are here because they all are preparing for JEE and for NEET so their goal is definitely high so first principle जो आपने बताया they are already there good but second thing again you shared कि कभी happy नहीं होना तो फिर ये तो बहुत happy दिखते हैं मेरे को हमेशा ही they all are very happy <laughs> KCC is only having one uniqueness that all faces are हैप्पी फेसेस तो उसको इनको कैसे रिलेट करेंगे ये सो यू अंडरस्टूड भैया व्हाट ही वांट्स टू टेल एक्चुअली वो ये कह रहे हैं परफॉर्मेंस के लिए हमेशा फाइट करते रहो और हैप्पीली करो फ्रस्ट्रेशन के साथ मत करो बिल्कुल दैट इज व्हाट जो काम करो खुशी से करो बिकॉज यू लाइक टू डू इट सी हैप्पीनेस एंड बींग टोटली कंटेंट एंड टोटली you know like you know like da- daji gives an example how many of you know daji or have met daji many of you he says that you know the he gives an example at times people being blissful he says it's like a worm in a cow dung he gives an example if you remember yes, his talk yes. worm in a cow dung imagine i mean how dirty it is you don't want to be that is a worm in a cow dung is very happy Yes. you don't want to be that happy yes yes you, you understood the difference of that what happiness bhaiya is talking ki how to or what is mean by that actually yes. not yes see if you are rohit sharma virat kohli sky rinku singh you are in the field you are happily scoring that's the kind of happy you want to be you want to be happy working hard you know you know you asked me earlier your darker side right one of the darker side which people many people tell me now even including the functionaries in heartfulness and maybe you too <laughs> right they say that sanjay is all about work you come to him he gives you some work yesterday i was t- sharing with daji you know that i have been doing some new kind of nutrition program and i used to take hypertension medicine blood pressure medicine now my it has become normal i don't have to take medicine somebody made a comment from back you know he gives high blood pressure to others <laughs> <laughs> so it is transferred actually Nani, not cured <laughs> Nani, but i i think what i'm saying is that in that i can tell you because i work hard myself happily and i expect the same thing from others yes nice so you can at this age also bhaiya have goals like this was also a goal i think ki yes. hypertension yes को हटाना है दिस वाज आल्सो वन ऑफ द गोल सो अच्छा भैया हाउ मच गोल इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन लाइफ मतलब दिस पीपल लाइक लेट्स जस्ट शेयर मतलब व्हाई वन शुड हैव गोल्स सी विदाउट हैविंग गोल यू वुंट नो व्हाट यू आर एमिंग टुवर्ड्स 
like they say goals and purpose even if your purpose is being one with infinity that we say in spiritual path still you have a goal no i mean you need to have a goal and in material life definitely unless you have goals in material life how do you know what you're aiming towards even the greatest i mean i you know because you all understand cricketers example of cricketers better i shared with you one of the top guys he is saying that i don't aim for 200 double century every time i come to the crease i aim for the next then i aim for the next then i my goal keeps changing right i have potential of scoring 500 runs but i have to start from one then i have to go to two then i have to go to three like that only right so having goals without having goals you won't be able to get an anchor in your life right right so you need to have goals now all of you have goal of getting to je excelling in je and neat and you should really work hard towards it without i mean having goal is not enough you have to work towards it so any question from your side yes mike she is our faculty senior faculty of geology anantram good evening sir my question is about students see this is my 20th teaching experience i counseled more than 10000 students in my life most of the students i mean in 10000 more than 10000 students what i counseled more than i mean they are at the first year and second year plus 1 and plus 2 they are able to reach their goal and just just now we are discussing about the goal but they are think, thinking about the girl not goal so how i mean they overcome the such type of distractions and attractions how to reach their goal how to overcome that stress when i was counseling the students most of the students are saying about that this type of problem is there and we are speaking of course many good students are there speaking about the goal but some distractions will be there based on as a biology lecturer i know that some physiological problems will be there hormonal changes will be there atmospheric changes will be there right how how we have to overcome as a lecturer you, i am expecting a good rest, i mean good uh, answer from you i have to share that answer when coming future students thank you okay can you repeat anand ram sir because he has not got complete questions sir <laughs> distractions how especially, to handle how to how to handle distraction yes especially between the attraction between male and female in this particular period his question is when students have goal but everybody is not going to achieve goal so they come in stress sometime and even during journey for achieving goal there is stress and there is distraction so how to handle that distraction and that failure that's what you want to say so how to handle that failure and distraction during journey so it's a good question sir anand ram ke liye you can clap actually he has asked this question on your behalf actually and it is a genuine question and it is not with you i think it is with everyone so even we also want to know bhaiya <laughs> yes it is with everyone it is a part of life over to you sanjay bhaiya how many of you meditate almost all how many of you follow badminton many of you follow badminton you know pv sindhu when a year ago she came here she made a statement here on this stage and and you know last couple of years she has been having many failures right she has been losing i mean being at i think she won silver or something at one of the games and then since then she has been losing right 
and then she she has been losing since then so she said it was heartfulness which helped me deal with my failures okay so i feel you know many of you first of all you know realize one thing stress is not bad not all kinds of stress is bad there is something called performance stress yes absolutely right what makes a player good in the last stages of his game is that performance stress like i shared with you my story of 11th and 12th that i used to be have nightmares i used to be stressed but that in my case even though i didn't have meditation in my life stress used to help me perform better yes i did better than i did in 10th i did better in 12th than i did in 10th yes in delhi because i had more stress in a way so first of all don't think all stress is bad now if stress is taking a acha <laughs> okay so <laughs> now if stress is really preventing you from working hard that stress is bad and you all have a tool like meditation in your life do cleaning do meditation that will help you if you can't use these tools now when will you use it yes so sanjay we want to say that there are two type of stress i believe one is dysfunctional and one is functional so if it is a functional stress it is good actually if you see lot of times australian team sometimes south african team they are known to perform better under stress so means functional stress they become more functional when they are stressful i mean this fi- this final match they did much better than india yes <laughs> and they were in stress from india because india was continuously winning but this is what sanjay bia want to deliver you can always make your stress as a tool to perform better that is what sanjeev you want to say now second bia aisa to tha nahi ki delhi koi acha shahar nahi hai college bhi bahut acha hai aur aap bhi bahut smart ho i agree <laughs> he understood the question means he he is quite intelligent i believe right <laughs> so how you handle those distractions kyunki hamare bachcho ko डिस्ट्रेक्शन होता है क्या डू यू हैव एनी डिस्ट्रेक्शन इन लाइफ इवन इफ यू विल से नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बिलीव इट एक्चुअली आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग टू बी ए कर्टियस पर्सन हियर बट आई नो ऑल डिस्ट्रेक्शन राइट तो बिकॉज वी हैव सच एन एक्सपीरियंस पर्सनैलिटी तो आई थिंक लेट एम आंसर लिसन दैट आंसर दैट हाउ ही हैंडल डिस्ट्रेक्शन राइट सो भैया देखिए जिस डिस्ट्रेक्शन की आप बात कर रहे हैं नहीं मैं एक डिस्ट्रेक्शन की बात नहीं कर रहा मैं, मैं सभी तरह के डिस्ट्रेक्शन की बात कर और सभी तरह की जो डिस्ट्रेक्शन आपको होती है राइट दो तरीके हैं सुनेंगे एक तो ये है देखो डिस्ट्रेक्शन एक तो ये दिमाग में डालना है कि डिस्ट्रेक्शन इज पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ जितना ज्यादा उस डिस्ट्रेक्शन के बारे में सोचेंगे उतना ज्यादा आपको तंग करेगी यू you नो know, एक मैंने अपने एक वीडियो में कहानी शेयर की थी एक वो होता है एक सेंटीपीड है सेंटीपीड इज अ इंसेक्ट विद हंड्रेड लेग्स राइट तो एक बार किसी ने सेंटीपीड से पूछा कि तुम तुम कैसे सोचते हो कि कौन सा पैर आगे रखें तुम्हारे सौ पैर हैं तुम कैप कैसे सोचते हो कौन सा पैर आगे रखें आप लोगों ने कभी सोचा है आपका कौन सा पैर पहले आगे जाता है किसी ने सोचा है हर एक का अलग होता है भाई यार पर वो बेचारा सेंटीपीड उसके बाद कभी चल ही नहीं पाया तो मेरा एक ये है आप लोग सोचते बहुत हो हम उस उम्र में ना बहुत सोचते हैं एक तो डिस्ट्रेक्शन वैसे ही है उसके बारे में उसके बाद हम डिस्ट्रेक्शन के बारे में बहुत सोचते हैं एक दूसरे से बात बहुत करते हैं मैंने अभी एक अपना एक टाइम मैनेजमेंट में एक कोर्स निकाला था अभी ऑनलाइन तो उसमें मैंने यही बातें शेयर की कि लोग बोलते हैं ना मेरे पास टाइम नहीं होता 
वो टाइम इसलिए नहीं होता है आप टाइम सोचने में बर्बाद कर देते हो आपको डिस्ट्रेक्शन इसलिए होती है आप सोचते बहुत हो यस yes. आप सोचने की बजाय जो काम है आपका जो गोल है आप सोचो रोहित शर्मा क्रीज पर है और वो सोच रहा है डिस्ट्रेक्शन के बारे में कैसे मारेगा यार वो आपको रोहित शर्मा बनना है तो मत सोचो अपना ध्यान जो है देखो डिस्ट्रैक्शन तो होंगी ये कोई नहीं बोलेगा आपको कि डिस्ट्रैक्शन नहीं होंगी डिस्ट्रैक्शन तो होंगी ये तो नियति का वो बोलते हैं ना ये तो है ये तो नेचुरल चीजें हैं काफी चीजें तो वो होंगी बट कितना आप उन डिस्ट्रैक्शन पे ध्यान देते हो कितना उनको ध्यान दे आप ज्यादा नर्चर करते हो उसकी बजाय अपने गोल को ध्यान गोल पर ध्यान दो अपने वो अपने आप तो पुरानी कहानी सुनाऊंगा मैं अर्जुन वाली है जो अर्जुन को बोला क्या तुम्हें दिखता है बोला मुझे वो दिखता है उसकी आंख दिखती है आंख का रेटिना दिखता है रेटिना का वो दिखता है मारा गोल तो आप लोगों को अगर परफॉर्म करना है अच्छा तो डिस्ट्रेक्शन के बारे में ना सोच के अपने गोल के बारे में सोचिए इसलिए गोल एक और रीजन गोल क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट है गोल आपको डिस्ट्रेक्शन से बचा सकता है अगर गोल नहीं है आपके पास किसके बारे में सोचेंगे वो बोले ना गोल की बजाय वो दूसरे बार कई लोगों का गोल हिंदी वाला गोल है हाँ। कई लोगों का इंग्लिश वाला गोल हिंदी वाला गोल है तो उनको डिस्ट्रेक्शन हो सकता है अब मैं आपसे एक और क्वेश्चन पूछता हूँ गोल से गोल से रिलेट कर रहे हैं संजय सहगल भैया को आपने क्या सच में सोचा था कभी कि आपकी इतनी बड़ी कंपनी होगी दो लोग होंगे इतने ऑफिस होंगे क्या सच में ये प्लानिंग और गोल का पार्ट है या आपके एफर्ट्स और हार्ड वर्क या कुछ पर्टिकुलर एटीट्यूड्स आपके पास इस तरह के होंगे मतलब हाउ इट वर्क्स एक्चुअली बिकॉज कई बार कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड में हम ये बात सुनते हैं गोल 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 एंड व्हाट अनंत राम साहब वर सेइंग दैट इज इट रियली अ पार्ट ऑफ द गोल और इज इट अ बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ योर एफर्ट्स वॉट यू आर डूइंग एक्चुअली दिस इज बिकॉज समटाइम वी फील ना कि हमने ये आई का गोल रखा नहीं हुआ तो खत्म हो गया क्योंकि सबने कहा था गोल होना चाहिए सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू आस्क सिंपल मेरे मन से ये क्वेश्चन है इसलिए मैं आपके भी आपसे पूछ रहा हूं कि क्या सच में गोल था देखिए मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ ये मेरी चौथी कंपनी है मतलब फोर्थ कंपनी है फोर्थ कंपनी यू आर ओनिंग फोर कंपनी नो आई हैव बिल्ड फोर्थ फोर कंपनी ओके द फर्स्ट कंपनी फेल्ड लिसन द फर्स्ट कंपनी रियली फेल्ड we couldn't carry it forward meaning it we we raised lot of money from the investors and we couldn't make any money out of it we lost our own money also so failures i think the other question i think you were asking earlier failures are part of life one thing i can tell you from my journey is that i i have already shared pv sindhu i mean you think all great players they could score century they have potential of scoring century double century every time but they also get bowled out for duck right golden duck they call it the first ball out ho gaya failures you unless you learn to handle failures in life you cannot succeed in life the journey towards success goes through your ability to handle failures remember this so mission statement right unless I I can tell you I I used to like Winston Churchill की ये है एक एक सो कोट है that uh, enthusiasm going from one failure to another failure with equal enthusiasm is success wow right one failure to next failure but enthusiasm नीचे नहीं जाना चाहिए enthusiasm उतने ही रहना चाहिए so again I am asking जब पहली company fail हुई थी तो इतनी हिम्मत कहां से आई कि अब सेकंड भी चला लें देखो मेरे उस उस कंपनी में तीन फाउंडर थे वो दोनों तो फिसड्डी निकल गए निकल गए मींस दे वर आउट मतलब वो उन्होंने उनकी तो एक का तो हार्ट अटैक हो गया तो वो तो निपटा तो नहीं बचा नहीं निपटा नहीं मगर उसको बेचारा जॉब ले लिया उसने ओके okay. दूसरा वो वो पाकिस्तान से था वो पाकिस्तान वापिस चला गया यूएस में थे हम लोग सब लोग साथ में वो पाकिस्तान वापिस चला गया और मैंने छह महीना छह महीना मैं चार्जी जी के पास आ गया या या दिस इज तो अभी एक बात मैं बताऊं आपको मैंने आपने शायद नोट किया हो मैंने बोला कि मैं यूएस पहुंचा 
within three months, I was introduced to Sahaj Marg, Heartfulness. So, means Sahaj Marg was introduced you in US, in US. So, I say this about it, that some people say that this is Indian system, in India, they do all of it. So, stupidity is that there is no boundary, no original boundary. Wisdom is no original boundary. You can be, that Chari Ji has a statement, you can be saint in America, sinner in India. तो ये नहीं कि सब लोग इंडिया में मेडिटेशन करेंगे अच्छे इंडिया में रहोगे तो संस्कारी बनोगे ऐसा नहीं है। I went to US and I found heartfulness and I started meditation. So I in my life actually heartfulness and my career they grew hand in hand. So for me it was very easy. The moment I had failed company failed, we had raised more than hundred million dollars in those days it was a lot of money. Now a lot of companies are raising hundred million dollar a drop of a hat. Those days it was very rare. We raised, we couldn't succeed for various reasons. After five or four years, we had spent on the company. We sold it to somebody, didn't make any money. I came, you know, I called Chari Ji and he said, you come to India. So I came and I kind of traveled with him for three, four months. Then I went back and I started th thinking over the next idea and I built the second company. And the second company was decent success. We sold that also. And then after that, somebody asked me to get involved with the third company. I got involved with the third company. In between, I had started this company that I'm currently owning, MSIS, that we, two of us, two people, you know, he's also was an Abhyasi. We started together in Chennai. Because Chariji was in Chennai, I used to come there quite often. So we started small. But I got more actively involved in 2013 or 14 in that company. And since then I have been running and growing it. We acquire other companies also. We have been, and to your question, did I have that goal? Well, I tell you, my goal is to have 20,000 people. So I am like Rohit Sharma playing at 20, thinking about 100. Important. Right? He's having right now 2,000 people in his company, but what he's thinking right now? 20,000 employees. I am, you know, Daji told me, I want, I was used to building company, selling it like that. Daji one day said, no, no, don't do that now anymore. It takes long time to build something. Build this for your future generations. So I have committed to my children. I'll give it to them once it's 20,000. Right? So tab tak mere baal lage rahenge. Mere baal urte rahenge. So I have a goal now that to grow it to 20,000 people. So, is still goal. I believe that he is always keeping goal in his mind, irrespective of that whether he is achieving it or not. But it makes you young, actually. I believe so. If you have a goal, you will always remain young. You have a goal for J main or J advance or need. You may achieve that. Then you will have another goal to perform better in IITs or in IITs or in an engineering college or in medical college. Then you may have a goal for PG. Then you may have goal for uh, professionalism means job or business every time. So one should have goals always, irrespective of achievement or not. Adjust the goals based on the situation. Yes. You out, no problem. Agli inning hai. Yes. Aapke liye dhamesha dusri inning hai. Yes. Jab tak aap zinda ho, ek inning aur hai. Bolta na movie abhi baaki hai dost. Right? Or dialogue hai na. Picture abhi baaki hai dost. Party abhi, <laughs> baki hai. So, now, I, any question from your side? Yes, beta, please give mic. Please, your question puchenge camera, ek bar unko focus kar dije. Kyunki parents, we welcome all parents here who are watching us online because this is, uh, we are telecasting it online also. Sir, actually, I have a doubt eh? that about, about goal. Uh, <coughs> that I have heard in this stage, I have heard in the meditation hall, that we have to do in our life one big goal. If one 
प्रॉपर गोल मतलब बड़ा सा गोल हो जिसमें मल्टीपल गोल्स आ जाए तो वो बेस्ट गोल कहलाया जाता है इट इज राइट और रॉन्ग एज योर प्रसेप्टिव मीन्स उसके आपके अनुसार एंड दैट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग यू ब्रॉट अप दैट इज ऑलवेज देयर सी लार्जर गोल आई हैड मैंशन टू यू इज टू बिकम वन विद गुड ह्यूमन बींग एंड देन इवेंचुअली अ डिवाइन बींग राइट वी से दैट्स आवर लार्जर गोल स्पेशली दोज ऑफ अस हु आर ऑन अ स्पिरिचुअल पैथ वी से दैट्स आवर लार्जर गोल बट इन बिटवीन आई पर्सनली फील देर इज नो हार्म आई मीन इन हैविंग स्मॉलर गोल्स लाइक माई गोल वॉज टू बी एबल टू कम हेयर and talk to all of you today and i did that right and like that you may have several small goals also right but my major focus always would be on the larger goal did i answer your question what sir want to tell beta suppose you are uh, you have a goal to move from delhi to mumbai so definitely if you are aiming for mumbai mathura will come kota will come surat will come baroda will come but suppose you are aiming for faridabad only then you will miss all those stations so that is what i think you want to convey yes it is always good to have bigger goals because all otherwise smaller goals will come into picture like what the for spiritual people what sanjay bhai is saying that we should have a goal to be like god why we usually have this goal na to be like god why because this is a smart way of getting all things if you will be like god i am 100% sure you will be perfect in your actions isn't it so that is the reason to keep goals high so next question anybody any question yes beta do you have more question yes, yes sir please सर ये आ, कहा जाता है मतलब पिछले ही सिनेमार में हुआ था दैट जो चीज तुम सोचते हो वो बन जाते हो सो व्हाट इट मींस अबाउट व्हाट डू यू थिंक यू बिकम एक्चुअली दैट इज व्हाट द क्वेश्चन ही इज आस्किंग तो आप बड़ा बनना चाहोगे अमीर बनना चाहोगे तो बन जाओगे ना वही yes, गोल sir. आपके जो गोल का बात है दैट्स अ सेम थिंग so what do you think about see why do we need goals so that you can think about i said how you can stay away from distractions have a goal focus on that goal okay sir. rather than distractions because okay. once you focus on that goal you will become that does it make sense yes sir thank you sir so and now i am going to ask as you are doing meditation because there are lot many students who are not into the meditation or they may have this doubt ki agar hum meditation karenge to paisa kamai payenge kya so how important this money is in life is it maine bataya you know daji was our master in heartfulness he still has more than 10 pharmacies that he owns in new york Ten pharmacies that he is holding in yeah. New and York. He, I know one day while walking, he had just told me, "I have enough money for my next ten generations." I'm just telling you informal discussion. He was saying, "So money is not bad." Even Charles used to say, "What is harm? What is harm?" So harm, in in heartfulness, we always encourage people to have balanced life. I have asked many times, Daji, that I will just leave my business and come here. I have a house, nice house here. I like spending time here, and, and I just work all this. He said, "Why? Paisa aara, tumko pasand nahi hai, to humko de dena. Me ha mission me de dena. Well, there is no harm in earning money, you, because if you don't earn earn money, bad people will earn money. So if enough good guys do good things in life, good things in this world." This world become a much better place. So there is, you should always aim for earning money. At least here, meditation. If some people say no, meditation will take you away from this. No, look at us. <laughs> It is not. <laughs> We are still working. We'll continue to work. People ask me, when are you going to retire? I don't know when. I don't. I don't have retirement in my life. <laughs> Never ever going Never. to retire. Never. <laughs> right. 
Yes, there is a question from back end actually. Good. I am happy with those who are at back end. Yes. Please, unko mic dijega. At the back end. Aap please khade honge. Jinke baas question hai please. Aap apni jake khade ho jayen. Please stand at your place. Nobody is there? Okay, no problem. From girl's side is still awaited. Yes, beta. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, sister wants to ask one question. Please, mic de dije. Yes. Hello. Okay, so my question to you, sir, is tech companies nowadays are a dime a dozen. So what makes your tech company special and what makes it better than the others out there? Yeah, got the question? A bit louder. Sir, my, my question to you is that tech companies nowadays are a dime a dozen. So what makes your better or more special than the others out there? See, the, the company that we have built, MSYS, it's called MSYS Technologies. It has been around for more than 10 years. And we always work with the cutting edge of technologies. Over time now, I can claim that 10 of our customers are unicorns. You know what unicorns are? Yes. How many Ta of you know unicorn? All of them. So we build products for unicorns that they can't develop themselves. So we are like, for example, majority of our projects that we are executing right now are on artificial intelligence using machine language. So we are always one step ahead of the curve in the market because we always, I mean, we are not a large, we are not, we don't go for those run of the mill things that other people do, Java and Python and all that. We are always step, several steps ahead in our approach towards developing products. We have been developing products with artificial intelligence for the last five years. So, so as a result now, I mean most of the companies and we also play, we pick our customers. We don't work for any, anybody. We pick those customers we know are going to be successful companies. Like we work with smaller companies and even I sometimes invest in those companies knowing that these, this company will become success one day. And as I said, 10 of them have unicorn status now, more than a billion dollar in their valuation. Wow. So, yes, you can clap for this vision actually, the vision what he is having. That what I got, what I got from this answer that one should have a vision, but my another, what you will suggest to this generation that in which area they must go ahead or which area is full of opportunities in coming 10, 15 years for these children actually. How many of you are in the technology, interest in the technology? How many of you? How many of you want to go into technology area actually? Many, majority of you. So yes. these days I think artificial intelligence okay. and machine learning, these are the hottest areas in the next several years. Next, at least I would say 10 to 20 years, there are going to be opportunities creating devices, creating softwares, creating mechanism, processes which have intelligence. The old era of building just systems which execute algorithms is gone. Going the to new era is that which has a self-learning systems. A system which learns by itself. And that is the hottest area for all of you that you should focus on. Because by the time you come to the job market. I think that will be right now. I mean, there are already systems available which have some level of intelligence. 
in future they'll be more intelligent so how you always keep on yourself on toes actually to pace with the change because this will be most important requirement for this youth to keep pace with the change how you keep pace with the change actually by hanging out with young people <laughs> so how where they will hang out actually now <laughs> You should <laughs> no you should hang out with people like me who are young at heart. <laughs> yes. So we are doing that actually. That is the reason we called him here. You can you can you can listen from him what he is saying that you should remain young by heart. But you people are already young. <laughs> Hello. You do not know the answer of it. You people are already at and here also so rashmi sister you want to ask some question mic please she is our mathematics faculty if anybody is having more questions please raise your hand so that we can read them hello sir my question is that कि यदि हम अपनी लाइफ में फेल होते हैं सपोज आज मैं टेस्ट में फेल होती हूँ और इवनिंग में हम क्लीनिंग कर लेते हैं देन अगेन हमारा एम हमें पुरानी चीजों को याद रखना चाहिए या क्लीनिंग कर लेना चाहिए देखिए दाजी ये समझाते हैं कि देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ मेमोरीज कॉग्नेटिव मेमोरी एंड इमोशनल मेमोरी वट यू आर रिमूविंग थ्रू क्लीनिंग इज द इमोशनल मेमोरी नॉट द कॉग्नेटिव मेमोरी ये आपको हमेशा याद रहेगा कि आप फेल हुए हैं और उसका अफेक्ट जो है उसका इमोशन है वो चला जाएगा तो यू नॉट फील बैड अबाउट इट दैट्स व्हाट पीवी सिंधु सेड दैट व्हाट हेल्प मी हेल्प हर डील विद फेलियर्स वाज हार्टफुलनेस हेलो क्योंकि हमारे आज के स्टूडेंट रोज टेस्ट में कम नंबर लाते हैं और मॉर्निंग मैम सेम एज नो मार्क्स तो वाई वी आर स्टडिंग हियर एंड again test and test and test that's why i am asking to question to all student ki aapko roz test kyo dena hai number kaise bhi aaye practice makes a man perfect the old saying <laughs> yes unless you practice you can't become perfect aapko malum hai kitne jo cricketers mai again cricket ka example dunga jo sports mein aap log kitne log how many of you have visited our sports center and you know in our sports center now we have at least four people who are national rank holders in the sports academy in the sports academy badminton national rank holders and since and in just last 6 months because we started only 6 months ago and you see how they practice how many hours they practice if you are complaining about math test just look at them small young kids you all of you are at least 16 17 year old Go there. I went there. I go there to play. You guys told you know I am young at heart and body too. So I go there and play. Most of those young kids, you know, eight nine year old kids, they defeat me very. Of course, simply they they'll beat me up in that badminton. But I see how well they play yeah, with each other. And sometimes they lose. I mean, they, if they play with a bigger kid, they lose. But doesn't that that helps them improve the game? I I shared with you the Winston Churchill's you know statement that success is going from failure to failure with equal enthusiasm imagine if you can go i mean even if you fail doesn't mean failure is your goal your goal is winning success but not lose enthusiasm if you fail yes second inning third inning fourth inning keep hitting and you will win pakka yes so there was one question from this side yes please from the girl student actually i i think this is the first question from girl side so you all girls can clap for her because this is first question second question from girl side yes beta so in heartfulness it is said that thoughts have a lot of power and even daji says that we should always use positive words uh, words of affirmation even when we are saying or thinking something random 
But the thing is that we cannot always be positive, as even you have claimed that you used to have nightmares when you were our age. So my question is, I know that the right kind of stress is good for us, but how to handle it positively so that uh, it makes us become better? <laughs> Once more, and loudly, they all want actually to listen to your question. But if you will maintain silence, then only you will be able to. Yes, please. Yes, beta. So my question is, basically in hurtfulness, we say that our thoughts have a lot of power. And even Daji uh, has said this multiple times, that we should be always using positive words, words of affirmation, when we are even saying or thinking some, something random because our words or our thoughts have a lot of power. But uh, it's not uh, possible to always stay positive as you, even you claimed that when you were our age, you used to have nightmares. So about that, I know that the right kind of stress is good for us, but my question is how to handle it positively uh, so that uh, it can help us become better. Thank you. Good question. See, I, I also shared with you that I didn't have something like heartfulness in my, in my life during those days. I wish I did. Because then I would have, you know, really been able to handle my nightmares in a much better way. I think when I share that statement, going from failure to failure with equal enthusiasm, how you can do that is only if you maintain positive attitude. I'll tell you, attitude in future. One thing I'll tell you, technology aside, artificial intelligence and machine learning and all that, of course, it will be their skill. But the real skill in the future will be the attitude. People who have good attitude will win in the future. Attitude is more powerful than anything else in your life. So positive attitude will help you win through anything. Very good question you asked. Thank you. Now one question I want to ask. Anyway, any question from your side? Last side? Okay, please, please, yes. Mic de diye bhaiya. Please give mic. Hello? <laughs> Sir, my question to you is, actually I have two questions. Uh, did luck play a role in your journey? And the second one is, did you have any role model, someone that inspired you to come over here till now? Uh, or is it only your story and your family background that inspired you to come till here? Or did you have any role model? Good question. See, your first question was whether luck played anything. At least I can tell you, I have already shared with all of you that I didn't have a very rich background. I mean, I was not a son of a big industrialist or anything. My father was a clerk in the government office, so I think I didn't have that lucky streak that you're talking about. To me, timing. Timing and your own effort. Those are very important. You can have an idea, but if you don't do anything about it, ideas are dime a dozen. You have to make an effort to realize that idea. You can dream all day long. You may have so many dreams. But unless you work towards realizing the dream, it's waste. So, as a student, I would tell you that your dreams you have, the, the ideas you may have, make an effort to realize those. That to me is luck. Luck is nothing else. Some people may be born with silver spoon as we say. You may be a son of Ambani and you already own a company. But you also know one of the sons had, you know, took the company down also. Yes, yes. So I think unless you have that in you, that effort, in, effort making ability in you, you're not guaranteed to succeed. And I think the success that comes out of your own hard work, the pleasure of that success, the satisfaction of that success is of different level. Then it stays with you for the rest of your life. The second question was, do you have any role model who to... I, I mean, I do have many role models in business. Of course, we all, I think in heartfulness, for us, always a role model is our master, you know. And I think I do say, even from business perspective, I have learned a lot of things from him. 
how he handled his employees, how he handled his business setbacks, how he handled his business growth and all that. But in my own field, you know, I mean, there were a set of role models I had more in my industry. You know, I was in data storage industry. So in data storage industry, there were people who had really built some very, very good companies. I mean, early days, but at the same time, I'll tell you, my role model kept changing every four or five years because I wanted to be a different kind of leader every four or five years. And that, to me, is an evolutionary thing you all have to develop in your life. How some people say, how do you stay always, you said, how do you keep up with technology? How do you keep up with young people or young thing? That is because you keep evolving yourself. If you think this is it, you know, I am 58 years old. How much? 58 years old. 58. 57 years, 57, 57. years old. When your how, birthday comes? 3rd July. 3rd July. Okay. How many people in my age would be as active on social media as I am? Yes, that's what I was saying. You are yeah. on Insta ID and very active on that. Very, I, every day I post things. And that is because, I mean, I, I like doing that. And I'm, I tell you one mantra that I have always given to entrepreneurs. Usually I address more entrepreneur classes than students. So I just say, be bindas. Be bindas. Be bindas. So whatever you want to do, be Bindas. Do you keep changing yourself? Keep evolving yourself. Every five years, I had different role model. Yes. Because I, I don't want to be the same guy. I mean, aiming for the same guy all the time, right? But then I'll be, uh, after achieving that goal, I'll go for somebody else, right? Nice. So I can conclude from this, what I learned from this. Timing of your efforts. Efforts is okay. But if it was not at the right time, like this is the time when you need to put your best. Now, even after two years, three years down the line, you are doing best, but you will regret actually. Because this is the timing where you have to put your best so that you will get very good in future. But sometimes we don't understand and we don't realize and we miss that time. Like Paytm. Timing played a biggest role actually. At the time of Node Bandi only, Paytm came into picture. And that because of that timing only, yes. they raised to that level. So similarly, you, you, you got a very good time right now because you are in Kana, that is one thing. And at the same time, you are preparing for your material goals also. So this is something which is really a blessing, what you have, what I can understand. Anybody else? Any question? Yes, sister. Okay, let, let's give a chance to student first. Yes, Hi, sir. You know, as, sir, he, here. as he gets the mic. Okay, he got the mic. Yes, please. Sir, how to overcome the depression and have you ever faced any depressed situation in your life? That's my question. Okay, nice. Have you ever faced any depression or how you uh, face that if it is? I mean, you know, I have faced and whenever I face depression... I go and play badminton, <laughs> you know. So I wash off that depression, feeling of depression by playing, do something outside of studies during those times so that it takes your mind away from the thing which is making you depressed. If you are depressed, beta, then do that thing what you like most, right? Yes. So you will come out of that phase actually, that zone. You will come out of that zone and I... Yes, second question. Someone is having mic here. Yes, please. Where is mic? Where is mic? Yes. Good evening, sir. Aap dono ko mera namaste. To mera sawal hai ki how to maintain consistency in doing hard work. Okay. You know, Nike ka slogan dekha na? Just do it. There is no other mantra than that by doing it, by staying focused on it, that you can be consistent. Koi yes. Dawai nahi hogi, peeliya aur mein consistent ho gaya. Right? It is just that you have to stay at it day after day till you achieve the goal. And practice helps you in that. Like the teacher was saying that, you know, math test every day or every other day you guys have. That practice helps you in that. Staying consistent. 
See what Sanjay Bhaiya wants to say, success comes before work only in dictionary. Success will come only before work only in dictionary. You need to work hard and there is no logic. Or success ke principle shayad kabhi badlenge bhi nahi. The principle will remain same. Yes, the boy at the last he is standing, he is waiting for from a long time. Can you come forward boy? Hello, can you come? Ahead? Please give him mic actually, he is waiting for... Can you give him mic? Sir, how did you face any failure in your life? Repeatedly, the question is repeating actually. He has already told. Whenever no, he got sir, failed, he got to badminton to play no, badminton. Sir, See, such a failure problem. is nothing. What he is saying, failure is nothing. One more chance with complete enthusiasm. And there is no one who is not failed, I believe. For any successful people, sir. If you want to answer. No, no I think that's what I had said earlier. Failures, the journey towards success will go through failures. So never be afraid of failures. Be bindas. I think with this we can end it if you like. Yes. Huh? Can you share the ID, Insta ID? Ah. They were... My Insta ID is Sanjay Sehgal Official. Sanjay Sehgal, S-A-N-J-Y-S-E-H-G-A-L Official. Because I had many clone accounts. Some people were making and asking for money from others. So we had to do this. And it's a verified account, Sanjay Segal official. So uh, now we can finish it up. So I'll ask Kumakan Bhaiya for vote of thanks. And uh, we, are, we are really thankful, Sanjay Bhaiya. You spared such a time, such a good time with, and shared such a good tips. So can we really thanks to Bhaiya for his... Arms. I will request the staff to hold to have personal beat. Thank you, brother. My humble pronouns to Brother Sanjay Bhai and Saurabh Bhai and all dear brothers and sisters. When we started thinking to arrange such a Rise and Thrive program. Many people suggested that, oh, these students are just a 10th passed and they are in 11th and 12th. You are thinking they are doing graduation, whether they keep mom in the auditorium or whether they could able to ask questions whether they have a social manners. So confidently I said, and I'm very happy that our students are asking questions in the fashion. The speaker thinking that to give the answer, the full length. And all parents, those who are watching this particular program, they're definitely proud the students are enjoying in this particular auditorium by asking questions. They have a what goal and they are serious about their goal. Obviously, they are 11, 12 standard students. Such a program generally used to conduct for the graduate students. But in Kana Shantivanam, our students are what many times they joyfully accepted the answers and they are asking the questions and many times a laugh and humor. I'm very, very happy today that we have started this conversation. In future also, you are going to maintain such a discipline. And when speaker comes, definitely he should think that he should what share his valuable words and experiences so that we will enrich our goal as early as possible. Thanks once again, your valuable suggestions. And dear students, once again to all and all those who have taken efforts to what successful this particular program. Thank you once again. And and I am going to request the staff members please come forward. We have to have one photograph and meeting with the Sanjay Segal Bhaiya. Thank you. Program is now ending part. Thank you once again.